Hi, this is Supersport. I just want to create a quick video to show how to change your COM port settings. This is in case your VCI device is not communicating with your vehicle. I changed these particular settings on my device and it made the communication be rock solid for me. Uh, no guarantee it'll work for you, but it's worth a shot. So here I am in a Windows 7 computer. Windows 8 is similar, you just have to find the My Computer icon. We're going to go to the Start menu, right mouse click on My Computer, and click Manage. On other computers, you might have an icon on the desktop called My Computer. Um, same thing, you want to go to your computer and click right mouse click, and then click Manage. Then we're going to go to the Device Manager. We're going to open up the COM ports, and look for the VCI Diagnostic Unit. Your COM number may be different. Mine's COM 3, yours might be 4, 2, whatever it is. It doesn't matter if that number is different. Just look for the one that says VA, VCI Diagnostic. I'm going to double click this to open it. I'm going to go to the port settings. We'll change the port, or I'm sorry, the speed to 115, 200. And then we're going to click on Advanced. We're going to make sure the receive bytes and the transmit bytes are 2048. The latency timer, 4 milliseconds and the minimum read and minimum write, we want it 100. You can change it by clicking the drop down and selecting your number. Now these are the numbers I've used. Again, if they don't work for you, try different numbers and see if you get good results. For me, these results have made it work every time I plug it in. So that's it. We'll click OK. We'll click OK again. We'll close the management console. And that's it. Go ahead and give it a try and see if that works. All right, thanks for watching.